Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin and welcome to The Walking Dead, the final season where I am screwing up everything. <laughs> made you some coffee. Oh, thanks you little killer. If you didn't watch the last episode, he murdered someone and blamed it on me by saying I told him not to hesitate. Am I a murderer? Hell yeah you are. Shit! We could get medicine from the nurse's office. Meds, she says. A shot through the head, you just put a band-aid over that. Oh, he's fine. What the fuck did you teach this kid? <laughs> All the wrong things, I assure you. No, encourage him. Marilyn had it coming. You did the right thing. The only thing you... Oh, a little Arthur meme there. They love doing that in this game. The clenching of the fist. What just happened? tell him to fuck off. <laughs> fuck you, Lewis. He's a little kid. Yeah, he can Shut murder whoever he wants, Lewis. For God's sake, someone help me with this. What? What are you gonna do? See, Just put your finger in that bullet wound. Just clog it up. Get back, Mitch. Get back. Or what? Oh God, he's got a knife. Get him, AJ. Shoot him too. Back the fuck off. This is great. We're making friends. <laughs> it's a stuff they wanted. I'm going to put them on their graves. Waste of time. AJ's right. Marlon and Brody aren't here to appreciate Oh my god, drawings. this kid must feckin' hate me. And he's so such a nice kid, too. I'm not even gonna have that coffee he made for me. Disregard it. Let's get out of here. Yeah, don't bring that firefighter. There's no way anyone could put out the fire we've started here. Did no one even clean up the blood? Come on. I did that. Yes, you did. Good job, boyo. But you deserve better than to get gunned down by that kid. Oh god, this guy. Escalate the situation. Marlon deserved it. After what he did to Brody, Marlon deserved exactly what he got. I... I was justified. <laughs> Clem told me. Oh, dear. <laughs> Fuck, I can't listen to this. That's what you told him? That what he did was... Yeah, was just okay? raising a kid here, guys. Jordy decides. They stay or they leave. Today. Is that the clock? God, that's an annoying ticking sound from a clock. <laughs> Oh no, it's AJ fighting a wall. Use your gun, dude. You seem to be able to use that pretty good. You can tell I'm raising him right when the kid is fighting a wall. <sighs> AJ, stop. You'll break your toe or something. <laughs> he doesn't even listen to me anymore. Here, what a down. brat. I love no. him. All right. He's worn himself out. You messed up. Blame him. I'm telling him what to do, and then when it doesn't work, I just blame him for it. I am Clementine. I do everything right. Let me handle it. We took the vote. You have to leave. Oh, I wasn't even there. I didn't get to see Don't people giving out over. about me. Get angry at them. You're all fucking crazy. Hand it over. What? Why? It's keep the gun. <laughs> it's yours, AJ. Fine. Let the kid keep the murder weapon. Wow, you really came across as weak there. <laughs> Tried to put his foot down and we just went, no, <laughs> and kept the gun anyway. My feet are gonna bleed again. Oh my god, <laughs> giving him the sob story as we walk off. I'm really confused what's gonna happen here though. Like, are they gonna meet back up with us? Are we gonna go save them from something? Surely they wouldn't just throw away all that development they did in the first episode, right? By Christ, there's an explosion, probably a squirrel or something. Now come on out. Oh my god, he lived. The Fekra I attacked lived. Come on, he's one-handed using a shotgun. He's not gonna be able to do anything, surely. All right, it's a sawed off, maybe. Sawed off, <laughs> like his arm. Oh, I've got some good jokes. I hope he catches us. There we go. Tough little bitch, aren't you? Hey, kick that gun away, Jesus. It's just an arm's length away. And I know he's only got one of them, but still, finish him off. Oh, Fek. Uh, I had selected just to hand him back his gun, by the way. <laughs> AJ, now is the time you shoot someone. Oh my god, what is his strategy? Oh my god. AJ, what is your problem with guns? One second, he is an almighty aim in the dark, in a storm, from quite a distance away. And the next second, he's charging someone with a pistol for no reason. Help us talk to your friends. Yeah, I'll take you back. Oh, there's no option to take them back. You don't have to hurt him. You don't have to convince me at all. I'm willing to take you back there to ruin their lives. Wait, is that feckin' Lily from the first episode? Clementine, it's you? Is it? I, I can't even tell. I... My name is Lily. Oh my god! <laughs> it is Lily. I don't give a fuck, to be honest. I don't give a fuck who you are, you I would have preferred Kenny. Okay, yeah, just stomp on my stomach. I'll never forget him leaving me on the side of the road today. <laughs> that was me too. I, I remember you I well, don't worry. Just shout at them. Beck, I picked the wrong one. I just wanted to <laughs> shout at them in general. <laughs> Blew their cover completely. Come on! 
What are you gonna do, you little one-armed bandit? She's useless too. <laughs> what are they trying to do? Like, are they just aiming to kill? Because they're horrible if they are. Oh, I was like, who's this? I kind of forgot there were zombies in this game. <laughs> There's just been so much focus on uh, people as opposed to the zombies. I do like the turn it's taken with Lily coming back, though. It's always fun to have someone, you know, from the past come back. Still, I would have preferred if it was Kenny, but, you know, I'll deal with it. Oh, what's wrong with you, kid? You got shot or bit? It's not a good idea to stand and fight here, Clementine. There doesn't seem to be that many zombies. There's no reason to stand and fight here. <laughs> Look at that walker just waiting. No, 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 wrong one, wrong one. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, luckily that zombie also waited for some reason. Oh my God, he's a fast little fecker. You're not a walker, you're a runner, aren't you? You're a weird looking guy too, Jesus. You're ready for Halloween. No. What the fu- Oh my God. I was wondering. Too loud. What is going on? <laughs> That is the best Halloween costume I've ever seen. I don't know if that would work, to be honest. They see food, and then they just hear a sound, and they abandon. Follow. I love this guy. I don't care who he is. He's my new best friend. I was looking at him. I was like, why does he have a massive potato head? How did he make this costume? Look at him. He's beautiful. I hope that's an actual walker head that he's hollowed out. I don't want it to be just like paper mache. Like, why would he have not spoke to me when he was approaching? Like, what if I stabbed him or someone shot him or something? It's dangerous. <laughs> ah, he's doing well to be fair to him. Good job, kid. I'd be complaining a lot more than that. I bet it's Kenny under there. Oh, Guaranteed. Easy. Does he stay dressed as that all the time? Like, he looks like some mythical creature, some sort of elephant man out here in the woods. You gotta respect that commitment. I didn't mean to endanger you. The walkers were sent to help you. Wait, what? You can command them? <laughs> Sometimes, guide them. Okay, now this is getting a bit out of hand. This is fucking weird. <laughs> Eat. Pudding! Uh, no, you keep it, man. It's, it's no, fine. No, Not that I don't trust you, you're just a bit of an oddball. Do you have a name? Been a while. That's a weird name. Since Must be some, like, Native American thing. It. Is this supposed to reveal something? James. Oh, okay, his name is James. I thought it was supposed to be a shock reveal of someone. I don't know who he is. <laughs> I bet he smells terrible. It's why they take people. To make them fight. Train them. Use them. You would join their war. Ah, so that's why they take people. I mean, at least they're not eating them, I suppose. Clem? Oh, don't worry, we got the whisperer. He'll talk him out of this. Listen, buddy, it's late. Go home. <laughs> Wait. Throw it. Distract him. Works just as well. And nobody gets hurt. Not us. Not him. Look, buddy, I don't care about your pacifist ways. I'm gonna kill the fecker. <laughs> I've been doing this my way for years, and I'm not gonna change because you got a couple of rocks with you. You killed some. In the herd that saved you. What? This you guy's a nutter. He's in love with them. They threatened me. I kinda like him. He's so. different. <laughs> I'll keep watch. I totally trust this zombie man. <sighs> okay, what about you? Don't need it. Not tonight. He's so fucking weird. I love him. <laughs> He's the best. <laughs> Screw having a relationship with anyone else. I think we just met Clementine's dream man. <laughs> I can't get over this. It's brilliant. He's so hot. I know, his rotting skin is just irresistible. Like, would you really walk up to a community, a guarded community, wearing this walker suit? They're gonna feckin' shoot him. Just seeing Clementine walking next to him like, oh great, now she's brought walkers. <laughs> Walker! Like, see what I mean? No, come back. I need you. <laughs> You're the best thing to ever happen to me since Gabe. Oh, look at them all. They're happy to see me. I have what I need upstairs. Come on. Yeah, she could repair a headshot with a band-aid. She could fix him. Clem, shh. You just try to rest, okay? We're gonna fix you right up. Clem. Oh, he really wants to speak to me. He's probably going like, Clem, what the fuck was wrong with that guy in the woods? When fear starts to get the upper hand. We tell it to fuck off. Fuck off to fear. <laughs> <laughs> this kid is the best. It's just everything is so Get mad at right her. Now. You know? AJ and I are lucky to be alive. Oh my god. You're a fucking asshole, you know that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm such okay, a dick. Sure. But 
The others don't like the coincidence. I will just say we were friends. Yeah, we were best of friends. I brought her here. I brought this danger to your woods. That's how he gets past herds. He can guide them, too. Wow. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Feckin' hot. <laughs> She's not gonna believe this at all. We used to keep barbed wire in the greenhouse. Why don't you have that up on the walls? It's gonna be swarming with walkers by now. Okay, what the hell's going on? Oh, look who it is. Let's just kill him so that we can weigh the vote in our favor. He's a brat anyway. Mitch, those raiders are getting ready to attack Mitch, <laughs> more like bad guy. <laughs> I'm so creative. Really, you're sending him with me? I don't see the point in that, unless you want to force us to be friends. This does not look overrun. She said there'd be zombies everywhere. There's nothing. All right, we got this lonely fella. Wait, I came in unarmed? What the hell? <laughs> Why? Clementine! All right, stop freaking out. You're waking them all. This was the stupidest idea ever. Why didn't we just shatter the glass and come in from the side? How is this place even blocked from the inside anyway? Like, it's clearly intentionally blocked with the wood. But how? <laughs> Did the zombies do it? Oh, they're getting smart. Or maybe one of those was James and I just murdered him. Like, they went out to the gate and attacked a load of zombies last episode. But yet they wouldn't come back and get their greenhouse back from three zombies? Seems like this greenhouse is pretty useful, you know? That should keep the raiders from climbing Look at this, like... Why did they abandon all this? Merlin was a useless leader. What? We can make bombs out of these. What the hell? James? Oh my god. It's majestic. It's even prettier than James. I can give that to Abel, the guy with the nub. You overwhelmed by its beauty too? I don't blame you. That's someone they know, isn't it? Our nurse at the school. She's not your friend. She's just fertilizer, helping the plants grow. Oh my god. That was so harsh. <laughs> I'm ruining my relationships with everyone. We should get back and tell the others. Not until we bury Ms. Martin. Oh my god. She's already buried. Look at her. She's been dead for years. Yeah, just burn her. We should burn her. They didn't even say burn her, they said burn She's been it. Like that for a long time. She's not a person anymore. Okay. <laughs> It's this is even know. dangerous. Get Just her burning her next to the greenhouse with all this greenery. Then I changed my mind. We need you. See, he likes Thanks. me now. You burn one dead body and the psychopath loves you. Why the hell does she keep coming in and out of the room? Two weeks? That really looked like about two days. Oh my god, another baby to take care of. Oh no, it's good, it's a nightmare. Oh, are we in a nightmare? Oh sweet bejesus. <laughs> I hate horses. <laughs> I don't have a fear of them, but I just hate their mouths. They freak me out. Follow the horse, I guess. Oh, come on. The horse is already dead. <laughs> Do you think this is AJ or Gabe crying? One or the other. You were having a nightmare. <laughs> then why didn't you wake me? Same why are you perched up there happen. anyway, kid? You're creepy. About what happened at the ranch. Oh, I don't know what happened at the ranch. That's new to me. Well, Clementine, you sure did raise a weird kid. Hmm, no kidding, Clementine. Maybe because you're the sort of person who talks to herself when she's alone. I feel like this is getting too real because I talk to myself. I mean, that's what I'm doing right now, technically. I think she knows who's controlling her. Could you check on everyone and make sure they're doing shit right? Sure, I'm on it. Oh, great. I hate this kind of micromanagement jobs they make me do. I'd rather they just make me hammer a wall or something. Oh, look. The perfect defense, we have a sign saying, go away. <laughs> this will definitely stop them. Seems like a bad idea. Fucking shit. What a crappy bomb, work. dude. Fertilizer. Crappy. Fucking shit! If I could take it back, I would. I knew that the day you got back. Nah, I fuck you, Lewis. <laughs> I just keep getting angry at him for no reason. <laughs> to be fair, he has a reason to be upset. Granted, the guy we killed was an absolute dick and he did horrible things, but we still killed an unarmed guy who was surrendering. You're stupid! You're being childish! I am not! Well, he is a child. Go with the child. Build a log trap. You could barely handle guard dude. Oh, here we go again with the Arthur meme. Yes, violence! Come on, we gotta play. Okay, I'm coming. Really? We're gonna have no lookout? Why is it nighttime all of a sudden? Oh, well, let's just play games and leave no lookout when there's the threat of being attacked at any moment. Mary, fuck, kill. That is not a good question for this group. Ruby, a Sim, or James, that guy who saved you. Oh, oh wait, James God. is included? I would marry... James. James. <laughs> just answer James to all of them. Didn't you say he wore skin? Like... 
humans. Yeah, it's so hot. <laughs> She's like nodding along. Ask Ruby for a kiss or go kiss a walker head. Yeah, go kiss a walker head. A walker. What? No way. Probably get a disease and die. That is disgusting. God. Oh my god. <laughs> he has commitment to this game. I would have told her to feck off and just left. Anyone here you like like? Is James here? Definitely. Definitely got feelings for someone. Oh, who is it? <laughs> nope. There has Not been telling. no indication of this so far. I've just been a dick to everyone. Follow Lewis. We've been pretty harsh on the guy and I want to continue that. You know I'm here for you. Why though? I keep telling oh, him to fuck oh, off, like constantly, every more. chance I get. You're the cutest. Maybe. It's good luck to blow on strings. You're the worst. You're the worst. Ever. Okay. It was a little funny. <laughs> Imagine I said you're the cutest. It's the biggest 180 you'd ever see. You should mark the occasion. Give a hurt. Yeah, give a hurt around it. After being absolute dick to the guy the whole game. That's a... That, that's a potato? <laughs> It's yes, yep, I, I love see. potatoes. That's That's super cool. <laughs> really cool. So weird after so, being hey, such I'm a dick to this guy. I'm gonna friend zone the guy. Friends are all we've got. After just putting a heart I'm around him, I'm just sending him complete okay. mixed messages. I have to go. I've got lookout duty. That guy must well, be so confused. Understand. I just mind fact the guy. Being an absolute dick to him. Draw a heart around our initials. And then immediately friend zone him. Come on, attack us. I dare you. I want something to happen. One. Two. Sorry, I'm just not really good at my reactions. Again. One. This guy's really committing. Two. Too slow. How am I not pissing this kid off? He's still smiling. Too slow. Again. <laughs> Alright, fine, I'll pick something. It was about seven times. Clem, I see something. Not Thank God. I hope it's James. Here, or an attack. Just anything. Just spice it up a bit. The hell is this? That's not a walker. Of course it's not a walker. There's like three of them attacking Thank walkers. You. And they have a cart and horse. Come on, we have to tell the others. I think they blocked the gate. Oh, they did. Okay, they must have heard me when the screen went black for like three seconds. They're gonna think they're in a feckin' cartoon when that big log comes down and tries to swing at them. Oh no, Lewis, I'm not giving any words of wisdom here. Silence is all I'm doing. Look at them all staring at me expectantly. You see, we shouldn't just be standing in the open like that. Good thing it was the guy who never speaks that got shot. For people that planned for like two weeks on this attack, they didn't really plan all that well, did they? Or at least they didn't execute the plan well. They were just standing in the middle of the courtyard. Look at this, if we had any sort of plan, they're just walking right in the main gate. We could do something. If Clementine moves, shoot her. Yeah, exactly. You see, now I'm stuck here. That the sweet little girl he protected turned out like he this. He taught me to kill. He did. <laughs> How to kill. Talk about her dad. That'll upset her. And her little brother. She missed him the most. Oh, no. She's got him now. The psychological warfare's coming in. Take the shot. No, I want her to live. Don't intervene. Let them figure this out amongst themselves. you. Oh my god. <laughs> now she's got a hostage. I told you there was traps. I did warn them, but they wouldn't listen. Did she just throw a rock at them? <laughs> oh my god. I kind of knew he was going to die as soon as he started freaking out and running at them, but you know. See, this plan seems kind of pointless. They're looking for soldiers, but yet here they are just slaughtering people. I think they'd actually be more successful coming in like, Hey, you guys, we come from a different community. Do you guys want to come with us for protection? And hey, I'm not a warlord. What do I know? Oh, I can't wait to use this log trap. Oh, yes, just the guy to use it on. Oh, no, I don't want to use it on them. I want to use it on Abel. More like not so Abel now that he lost one of his arms. Jesus Christ. Oh God, she's angry. Like we should have way more traps than this. If we just focused on traps, we'd probably actually win this, no problem. Oh, we're going with a home alone trap, just pushing a couch down the stairs. And it worked, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh no, cut off your other hand. Um, I can't, stay back. He can't what? what? What was that? I could have just killed this dude. Lighthouse time. <laughs> this guy is being fucking tortured. It's brilliant. 
Oh, for feck's sake. Is he dead? Ah! Oh my god. Leg not supposed to bend that way. Cut it off. Then he'll have one arm, one leg. Why are you crying? You started this. Ah! Who the hell was that? Ah! ah, Violet. You gotta give it to her. Violet is fairly class, really. <laughs> Abel even looks like the dude from Home Alone. He's getting such a rough go. Oh, do I get to pick someone to save here? Uh, I'm gonna save Violet. Give Lewis even more mixed signals after saying friends for life. I just abandoned him. God, what failures. They attacked a bunch of kids and they fucking lost. Their one goal was to get more people for their army and they just lost people. Ah, look at the little fecker hiding in the trash where he belongs. <laughs> they were all hiding while I was out there just slaughtering people. Ah, yes. Our new addition to the group. <laughs> the guy from Home Alone. Yeah, your day is about to get worse, buddy, if that's even possible. <laughs> oh, that's the end of episode two. You left Lily feeling unimpressed. She was offended when you called her an evil bitch. You left Violet feeling vengeful. Violet was pissed when you called her an asshole after returning to school. Violet was disappointed that you chose to spend time with Lewis. You allowed Lewis to be kidnapped. Lewis felt conflicted after you said you hadn't forgiven him for kicking you out. Lewis felt betrayed when you allowed him to be taken after spending time together. You left Ruby feeling disgusted. Ruby was shocked when you said AJ was right to kill Marilyn. Ruby was horrified when you described her former nurse as fertilizer. <laughs> Ten was disheartened when AJ belittled his drawings. Ten was crushed when he said everyone would be dead before the Walker age ended. Mitch was enraged when he said Marilyn deserved to die. Well, he's dead now anyway. Even the dog, Rosie was depressed after you ignored her. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm glad to hear they are finishing this game. Skybound Entertainment are taking over, I believe. I liked that episode a lot, though. I thought it was actually much better than the first one. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed it. I appreciate you watching as always, folks. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.